Alright, so buzz saws. You can do them forwards, you can do them backwards. Uh, the key here, if you don't already know how to do this, is that it doesn't have to be perfectly lined up in the middle like this. You can spin it out here, you can even spin it at angles like this, and from trap perspective, that still looks like a buzz saw, even though I'm not right here in the middle. Spread it out. I can even do one on the other side. You can't even almost tell. Uh, anyway, so those saws are cool for a couple of reasons. One, you can add them into any weave that you're doing. Uh, just instead of unwinding all the way to the other side, you just sort of throw them in the middle into a bus saw there. So it's just an extra little beat you can do in the middle. Just something to spice up your weaves. And you can do that in reverse too. Just throw it in the middle there. As you're about to unwind to the side here, you just bring it into the middle instead. And that's the same with your horizontal weave. Your horizontal weave, as you're getting ready to go to the bottom, just throw it into a buzz saw there in the middle. Bring it back out into the weave. Do the same there. Uh, the same with your reverse horizontal weaves. So it's just a good way to spice everything up, and uh, it's also an easy way to connect your weaves with your L-strikes. You just, uh, ooh, maybe, <laughs> just got your weave going. Again, you throw your buzz saw there in the middle, and you can go to your uh, shoulder hits there, and bring that down into your L-strikes, and from there you can... So just spice it up however you like. And just bring it back into your buzz saw and uh, away you're weaving. Uh, another cool thing about the buzz saw is that you can hit just one and have them go in opposite directions. Again, the key here is uh, get your buzz saw going, hit one, and they don't have to be right by each other for it to look like they are. Alright, uh, and I think that's about it.